Hi everyone, as uh, the colleague already um, introduced me, my name is Amir Sharif and I'm, it's my pleasure to um, have you guys, your colleagues today, and I'm going to talk about the historical perspective on Dr. Paris Cambin. So I'm a board certified for orthopedic and trauma surgery in Germany, and I'm working as a consultant spine surgeon there. So Dr. Paris Cambin, he was a pioneer in a minimal invasive in the spine surgery. He was born in Tehran, Iran, and then and in Tehran University Faculty of Medicine. He has done his um, medical student time, and then his orthopedic training was in United States University of New York, and after that as a professor and chair in the University, of, um, University College of Medicine in Philadelphia. So Dr. Paris can be um, revolutionized the spine surgery, especially in the minimal invasive spine surgery with uh, descri describing the Cambin triangle, a technique and approach which minimize tissue damage and reduce the recovery time, which is used in minimally invasive spine surgeries and also endoscopic surgeries. And uh, many professionals, they, uh, they got lots of influence from his work. Unfortunately, he passed away in uh, 2020, and, um, but his novelty and mission in minimally invasive spine surgery is moving forward. And because of that, today we sit here together. So we have the, we have the mission statement for the Cambian Society, which is dedicated to advancing the global standard of spine care by fostering open dialogues and complex cases and sharing our insights from failures and success and promoting collaboration ac across disciplines. The mentorship and commitments with the mentorships that are commitment to training for the generation, the hybrid generations from neurosurgeons and orthopedic surgeons that they do a spine surgery, it should ensure the optimal patient care and patient outcomes. We have also a vision statement to build a global community where a spine specialist, they can ex exchange their knowledge, innovate surgical techniques, and embrace a multidisciplinary approach to shape the future of a spine care by converting a culture of learning, collaboration, and mentorship. So if, we, if I want to have a short... Uh, look to the anatomy that the Dr. Cambin described for us, the Cambin's triangle, which is between um, the transverse process in the bottom and then in, in, and in the posterior side of that is the, um, is the articular, art, articular process of the lower vertebra and on the top of that is the exiting nerve root, which give us a triangle, a safe triangle as a surgery approach for the minimally invasive uh, procedures. So here we can see the difference that we have from Cambin approach and the subpendicular approach uh, through the pedicles that the blue ones that we have are the pedicles and the exiting nerve roots and the nerve root of the lower level. So as we see here, I hope that you guys can see that very good. I think uh, maybe maybe here because of the photos, it's not a perfect maybe, oh, now it's better, I think. So you can see this safe zone that we have. You can see this safe zone that we have between the existing nerve root and also the spinal cord, the green safe zone that we use for all of the minimal invasive operations, which is described to Dr. Kambin. So if we want to see that uh, through MRI di diagnostic, that's gonna be um, the vision that we're gonna see in coronal wheels of the MRI imaging. So the difference that we can see in all leaf um, fusion operation and the transforminal one and the risk of nerve injuries uh, we can see that here that uh, the, um, uh, these photos are took from uh, Dr. Abbasi that he uh, introduced a very good 
the safe zone that we have through the Kambin triangle. If you take a quick look to the um, evolution of uh, spinal fusion from the time that we got to know about the disc herniation after that in 1944, the PELIF operations, and then from 1944 till 1980, that was the PELIF uh, modif modification till the time that in 1982, we had the transforminal approach. And after that, from 1990 to 2002, the, the, the colleagues, the senior colleagues, they started to, um, to use the minimal invasive uh, spinal fusions till today that we have the procedure of oil lift. Yeah, we can take a look uh, and in this image, how it's going to be the different approaches that we use. And then now the oil leaf approach that um, based on all of these studies and the patient's outcomes, the thousands of patients that they operated through oil leaf techniques, the uh, oil leaf technique that we use. So uh, the complications and the tissue damage that we get through that is much, much less than the other ones that it's supposed to be because it's the minimal invasive ones. So here we have another time from another point of view, the um, approach of oil lift through the uh, camping triangle. And if you see the other approach that we, we have also still now, and then we are using it, the air lift, uh, oil lift or lateral uh, approach that we have lots of risk of uh, vascular injuries. So if you want to see the points and the uh, surgery sites here, it gives us um, a gross um, point of view to see where uh, we start our incisions for the different approach that you see for the only one, we need the patient just in own position and we can do the ventral, the, the anterior and posterior uh, procedures at the same time and you don't need to uh, change the position of the patients. So here you can see, for example, um, one of the difficulties that we have on the other lateral approach that you need to go more anterior and you have more risk of damage of muscles and especially, especially the lumbosacral plexus. So if, you, if I want to summarize that the transcambian will live uh, just per soft transition, we can, uh, we can emphasize five most important points. Single prone position, as I as I already talked about it, this is so efficient. So, and then we can do this procedure from uh, tense thoracic vertebra to the first sacral vertebra. That's a universal approach possible. And the real time AP and lateral view that we have at the same time are X rays, uh, and we can see at the same time. So minimally disruption to posterior and anterior uh, tissue with minimal blood loss. No muscle retraction, minimal blood loss, no disruption to muscles, anterior regression, regulation. So you have a fastest amb ambulation and recovery and the very quick discharge as uh, Dr. Abbasi told us. Here we can see the difference between oil and leaf and, and the leaf approach as we all as surgeons, we know that to reach the, the, the Cambian triangle is from the landmarks that we do for, in the surgery time and the damage that we can see as uh, one, of the, one of the complications in fusion operations here is very, very little one in, in comparison with the other lateral approaches. Another, um, that I wanted to say, all of the things that we say is based off many studies that I just collected some of them here to uh, just show all of the things that we say is uh, study-based. And um, 
all of the um, from 2000 uh, from 2012 till now they are dozens of uh, of studies that uh, they can show us the benefits that we have from oil lift procedure in comparison with other fusion operations for sure they are there are also some difficulties but uh, the good thing is that we have now the possibility to can to um, get the benefits um, and learn it very good from Dr. Abbasi as a pioneer and very avid spine surgeon uh, with more than thousands cases.